It's important to have a Women's History Month and the real reason is because it's so easy to overlook in our culture the, the things that women have contributed to this country. My father's mother, my grandmother, was a very independent person and she owned property, she was, uh, she rented it out, she had all kinds of businesses going all the time. My stepmother's mother had a beauty shop and she ran her own business. So I had women in my family who were independent, who were business women, and who were always thinking about what they could do next. And because of their strong example, I think that's what's done the most to give me the ideas that I could be somebody or I could do something because they sure did. It just seemed to me that we needed more really strong people to run for office. And I actually went around and asked some people to run and said that I would help them. But one of the people I was talking to, and this was when Rashern Baker had run for county executive but had lost, and he was therefore no longer in the House of Delegates. So I talked to him and he said, you know what, Jolene? You ought to run. Look at all that you've been doing. You know, you'd make a great delegate. So I decided to run for office and I really got pushback from other women. You know, it, it really wasn't what I expected. And especially I'd have to say middle-aged and older women, not young women. But they would ask me questions like, you know, what about your kids? How are, you, how are your kids gonna be okay if you're out here running for office and serving in office? And you know, my husband had been state's attorney at that time. And I told them that they hadn't said a word to my husband when he was running. So why are they suddenly so concerned about my children? And that my children were fine. And they were, you know, and we were. So I was troubled that I didn't get the kind of support that I thought that I should get from other women. But um, I'm hoping that that has changed. You know, I, I'm hoping that younger women today who are running for office are not getting that kind of reception. And certainly they won't get it from me. I'll be right there supporting them 100%. I think it's a wonderful example to, uh, to younger girls, especially to see people in power who are women. And whether it's our county executive, our state's attorney, we have four members of the Prince George's County Council who are women, as well as um, the, the community college president, Bowie State's president are both women. The uh, head of the school system, Monica Goldson, is a woman. So we have a lot of women in positions of power, the, the fire chief, and I think that's wonderful to have a, a, a lot of women in prominent positions. Women have traditionally been in the background, so we don't always know everything that women have done. In fact, it's only recently that we've learned the contributions that black women made to the space program. And it, it's only all these years later that someone took the time, did the research, and put the movie out, Hidden Figures. So if we hadn't had someone else do that work for us, we'd all still be in ignorance about it. And Women's History Month gives us that moment to stop and think about the people who have done so, so much of the back work. Um, if you look at the Civil Rights Movement, there's so many women who were the ones uh, advising the men, doing the grunt work, organizing the protests, and we're really grateful to them.